I don't really know how to explain her, but if ever anybody was going to get told off for anything, it would be McGregor. Uh, McGregor, not good. Um, don't don't do that face. How many times have I told you about that face? I can't help my face. <laughs> like it's just natural. It's my face. She's so miserable. It's funny. A poor kit muster. Her face doesn't give away a lot. Uh, she could be doing the most interesting thing in the world, but if her face is, I'm not interested, but the rest of her could be. You either take me or you don't. I'm like Marmite, and I love Marmite. Worked in Tesco's before this, that was awful. Worked in Costa as well, that was also awful. And Weatherspoons, also awful, but I got a lot of money from it, so perks. She shouted at me for breathing too loudly. Really? <laughs> <laughs> that might be funny. I can't, can't help her breathe, I'm afraid. McGregor's previous mistakes have caught up with her, and she must face a formal warning from Chief Petty Officer Bouchier. You are going to be placed on a Tier 1 Values and Standards warning as of today. Now, I do not want to see you come back in a few weeks' time 100% effort and make some progress. She started winking at me. I don't really know what was going on. I hope there was something going on with her eye uh, and it just carried on going and going and going. If that was her like, last ditch attempt to not go on warning, it, it didn't work. People seem to think that I'm miserable, but I'm actually not. It's just like my natural face expression is just a. You need to work on. Your game face, then. Yeah, I know. Yes. Because your game face says to me and everybody else around you, don't give a toss. Yeah, no, I know. Um, if you don't give a damn, there's people in there that do, right? Yeah. Fellow classmate McGregor is nowhere to be seen. Earlier, McGregor reported to sickbay with a chest complaint, one of numerous visits she's made since training began. If she doesn't compete in this competition with all of her teammates, then her morale would almost be crushed. I've never seen her in a difficult environment. Because every time it's been difficult, she's not been there. Is that because she's putting it on, or is it because of genuine reasons? I don't know. In week two, she had a different illness. In week three, I'm fairly sure she had two different illnesses. And then from week four or five onwards, she's had the same illness. I don't go to sleep for the fun of it. I hate that place. If McGregor is to compete, she has only minutes to make it. I did run against the doctor's orders to get there. <laughs> So I wanted to kind of show that I was going to be there to earn my place. McGregor just misses the start and is ordered to watch alone from the sidelines. I think we're a little bit better off as a team without McGregor because it's a huge weight off your shoulders. You know one of the weaker members of the team is not there anymore. I do really feel like I failed. The only thing I've ever failed was a couple of GCSEs, but that's not a career, is it? People are asking questions, and when people start asking questions, we have to give serious consideration into her continuation in training. At school, it's not anything to lose. Here there is. <laughs>